Uh, I know that there's little, there's all kinds of techniques, there was all kinds of ideas that people had, like, to get easy super jumps. I know that the technical aspect of it is something like, uh, there's a certain number of frames. I think the lowest it ever gets is three frames. There's a box back here. But I just, <laughs> I just don't have the consistency for it. I guess we'll do this whole little scenario down here on Yoster Isle. So the Yoshis in this game, they want to do races, but they can't do the races because this guy is being a jerk. This guy here. Being a big jerk. So you do get to ride Yoshi in this Mario game. I need cookies, apparently. So yeah, he won't let the Yoshis all race, because he's the fastest. Oh, there's two jump buttons. One jump button jumps on and off Yoshi. No, I gotta talk to him. Yeah, get on. And the other one just <laughs> hops straight up for some reason. Okay, well, I've put that together. This is like a rhythm game, as I recall. You have to like push the buttons in a particular rhythm. Alright, so we race him, and if we beat him and become the fastest, then we can do the Yoshi races all we want. What two buttons do you want me to do? One instructions? Yeah, I better listen to you this time. A and B, alternately along with the rhythm. The tighter the rhythm, the faster you go. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if this is correct or not. I mean, it feels good. It looks like he's running in place. He's kind of treadmilling. I'm not getting it right at all. Oh, whatever. <laughs> this is as easy as it gets, man. Let's go. Oh, I thought I would cross the finish line with that cookie. Oh, well, Yoshi. Listen, buddy. Alright, let's go get some more cookies from the guy. <laughs> yeah, we'll try it again. We'll do it, try it again right now. What are you talking about? Yeah, let's get on. I'm not giving up. This little minigame always sounded janky. It always felt janky to me. I don't think I ever really got the hang of it, which might... I mean, usually I'm pretty good at rhythm games, though. Like, I can play some rock band, you know? And stuff. <laughs> no, we're not going to practice. There's no stakes. We don't need to practice. We got this, Toad. Don't worry. Okay, let's go. in time with so there's like a there's like a bass hit like this farty sounding bass hit that I was trying to time my buttons to I don't know what this wants from me I was pushing the appropriate rhythm and I, I'm gonna blame Yoshi for that and now I'm leaving Yoster Isle and I'm not coming back that's it we're never coming back to this place there's no reason all we do by winning that mini game is unlocking the ability to play the mini game whenever we want and there's no other reason to do it ever so, what's for sale in Moleville here? <laughs> I 
Let's see. Probably we want all of these. Well, symbols, maybe not. Actually, I think these work pants... We are going to want. Do I, do I really want to spend money on a weapon for Mallow? <laughs> I don't think we're going to use Mallow after this. I think this is the last place we need to use Mallow. So we're going to buy one of those, one of those... I think we want these. I think these raise attack power. Let's take a look. Let's let's see what happens with Mario here. Yeah, attack power goes up and magic attack goes up a little bit. So we'll just buy three of those. Good, and we can sell all the rest of the stuff now. Excellent. I don't think I want to spend money on a weapon for Mallow. Am I missing any resources? Yes, we need some flowers, so stay in the night. Even though I'm pretty sure we just go back and get a free refill at Mario's pad by wandering all the way back through the world map again. We got a sneak peek at what Bowser was up to earlier. We saw his troops. And uh, I don't know what happened between here and there, but the Koopa Troop has been decimated. He lost all of his shelled troopas somewhere and most of his Goombas and Wizards, and I don't know what's going on. But Bowser, what looks like it happened is he's really bad at playing tower defense games and he lost most of his troops. He didn't use enough ice towers, is the problem. Poor Bowser. All right, I don't think we have, actually... any hidden boxes in this dungeon. I think we just want to go ahead and run on in. Some, some kids got trapped inside, and... None of the moles can get through. They gotta dig through the wall, but they're like, we're moles, we're bad at digging, or however it works. I don't. So Mario's gotta go in and get the kids. Don't drag some boxes in or anything and climb up. Like, don't have. Don't, like, throw a rope up there. I have heard the news. You want me to go in and save the children? I, I got it. I'm on it. In we go. So we need to... Oh, I guess that's the door that's not open yet. Wait, who's this guy? Oh, I was trying to get up top again and fight. And fight. I don't want to fight the Toad Man. Thunderbolt, like, now it just doesn't scale well. I think the bombs don't like Thunderbolt. I think all the bomb creatures are weak to the Thunderbolt spell. So maybe I should have Mario and Gino just focusing on fireballs. Or maybe I should just avoid the battles. If I can. Would be even better. That's big damage from the froggy stick, my goodness. Mallow, I was just... You did more damage with just your froggy stick than you did with that thunderbolt to everybody. Go ahead and rain all over Mario, please. A rare item hidden in the mines. Oh, this guy, he's gonna be an important NPC for later. What we need to do, I think we just jump on this. And we hit the ceiling, and that's hilarious. <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen when you use an item like that inside of a building. Actually, Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest IV does that to you when you use the flying shoes inside of a building. Alright, we need to chase Croco down. And try to not get into too many fights on the way.
we knew that Krako had a bag of bombs because... I'm sorry, not Krako. Top Hat McGillicuddy. Uh, because he was throwing them at us not long ago. We basically just gotta chase him around, just like we did last time. We had a Croco situation. Alright, go ahead and Geno Beam. I would almost say he's a recurring villain. I think we're better off just actually fighting. Because we got all those new weapons. I don't think we can do more damage than just attacking. But I would say that Croco is a recurring villain, except I think this is the last time we fight him. I don't think there is a scene after this. I think he appears later. But I don't think we have to fight him. Uh, let me use up some mushrooms, actually. I'm glad that we have HP rain, but... Maybe we'll try super jumping him. Is what we'll do. Nice job. Three jumps, huh? <laughs> That's all the better I can do. Usually I can do better than that. Usually I can get six or eight. The idea is that like after six or eight jumps or so, the window for getting more jumps starts out pretty generously. The idea being they want you to guarantee that you can get the first few. But then it gets tighter and tighter. Uh, I think after six or eight it tightens down, and then at six or eight more, so at, I don't know, jump 12 or 15 or whatever. It tightens even more than that. I don't know what he just stole from me there, but I don't like it. Alright, let's try this again. So how many was that? That was better, right? Actually, you can survive another hit, so... Froggy sticking, my boy! Mallow, what did I just say about... Oh, he stole all our items. <laughs> I can't even revive Mallow! So I hope we kill him pretty soon, because... We have no way to heal in this fight. And I don't know the timing on his, uh... Attacks block damage from him. That look okay. Got all the junk back. So we got all our items and we got our coins and we have blown up a wall somewhere in the cave. Picked up a bomb too. Excellent. Let's Oh and we got a full heal. Everything is okay now. We just need to find where to plant this bomb. Probably up through here. That's a that's a big bomb. Let's walk around him. Here you go, buddy. Wait, how did you get through here? The whole idea was the kids were trapped. Nobody could get into whatever. Ooh, and there's a star here. I don't know, I'd let Mole Man join the party. He wouldn't be more of a liability than Mallow, come on. Uh, I wasted the star, didn't I? I did, I wasted this whole star. I got a frog coin, though. Well, <laughs> I guess the idea is you're supposed to grab the star and stay up on the top root. And then kill these bombs in here. Yep. All those fights that I don't get to Murgatroyd now. In my defense, whoever's job it was to make notes of this dungeon... I was trying to not fight this fired man. Uh, he takes a lot of damage from Mallow and... 
Mario. Yeah, I don't know who set up these notes, but they did not do a very good job, I gotta be honest with you. Whoever wrote these notes for me to follow didn't know what the hell they were talking about, because there's no sign at all that there is a star in this dun- well, that's not true. The NPCs told me there was a star in the dungeon. Maybe it is my fault. I mean, different kind of star, but I should still be on the lookout for them. And those purple cluster guys that we're fighting, that's another kind of star altogether. It's just a very star-riddled game, this is. How many coins? My goodness, that's a lot of coins in that block. Oh, that's right, I could star these things. Those guys here, I remember now. If you're good at the game, which I'm not... Sad face. Meanwhile. I said meanwhile. Where's this box at? Uh. I can't get it. So there's the shadow. So it's directly over me right here. So I just jump straight up here. Got it. That was the flower, but you know what? Every flower helps. Why? Why, bob -omb? Shout Shoutouts to Lord Enigma for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video and you want to see more, please tickle my thumb, leave a friendly comment, and ring my little bell.